I am Captain America, and this is Disneyland for adults. We're at the world's largest RV Supercenter, Lazy Days RV, right outside of Tampa in Sapphire, Florida. 126 acres of the world's finest RVs. Everything from the biggest, most grandiose, right down to tent campers. Come on in, I'm gonna show you what they got. If you're looking for something for your camper and you can't find it here, you're not really looking because they've got everything, literally. This place is a one-stop shop. Anything you could possibly need from financing to sales, uh, new vehicles, used, ve used campers, or anything you want. They take trade-ins. I actually have been doing business here for 22 years. This is the 22nd year we've come down here. The first time I did business with them, the dealer we were dealing with up in New England, wouldn't. I had bought a brand new diesel pusher and wanted to trade it in. They didn't want to uh, take the trade, so I came down here and sold it to Lazy Days and actually bought the unit from, some, from another a private reseller a big 47 foot Kingsley coach and they treated me like I had bought a rig here. They have pretty much any service you can possibly imagine. When we, uh, when we came here to sell them our previous unit, they let us actually stay here overnight. They have a RV resort on site with 300 sites. So we're able to camp here overnight for free and they let us move all our stuff from the old camper into the new one, which is if you've ever done that and you've got a, all your camping gear in there, it takes a long time. We weren't rushed. We felt at home. And over the course of the last 20 years, as, as we're looking for new RVs, we've actually bought, in the last 30 years, we've had 11 different RVs. So it seems like we're on like about a three year cycle of, of uh, upgrading. We've had everything from small tow behinds to van campers to class A diesel pushers and they've got all of them here, so pretty much all the major brands too. Guys, this place is so huge, you need a map to get around. They have over 1,500 RVs on site. They have a RV resort that has 300 campsites, luxury campsites. They have a, a restaurant, they have actually four restaurants on site. They have a trolley that'll take you through here, but you really need to rent a golf cart like we did to get around. The RV resort has tennis courts, basketball courts. It's got a playground for the kids. They have two different dog parks, one for small dogs, one for big dogs. They have a heated pool. Um, it's just absolutely fantastic. Really nice laundromat, which we're not gonna need anymore because that's why we came here. We bought a washer and dryer. The service department is second to none. The service is first class. Just an amazing experience I've had here just like every other time I've been here. <clears throat> and right outside here, there's a Flying J Travel Plaza. So if you're in a big rig uh, that you can pull tractor tra trailers through here easily, very easy to get fuel here. There's a country inn and suites. If you don't have a rig yet and you want to come here for the day and get a hotel, you can do that. And they break it down. There's 1,500 RVs, but they're, they're in sections. If you want to buy a, a tow trailer, you can get that. The fifth wheels are in one section. The toy haulers are another. The class A's are in another. They have an event area. Um, and we're, where we are right now is the sales center. And down here, all those cubicles you see over there, those are actually manufacturers um, sites. They're such a big company, they can actually, um, they have all the manufacturers representatives here on site to help you. So if, you, if the salesperson can't answer your question, you can talk to somebody who actually works for the factory. They can do that because this is the largest RV store in the United States of America. And it's not just this site, they have six sites countrywide. So there's also a Cracker Barrel restaurant. I had the best breakfast we've had. We've been on the road for 11 days since we left Connecticut. World-class breakfast at the Cracker Barrel restaurant. So they've got great food. They have free soda here. They have a refreshment center here. So if you need a little caffeine and you're getting thirsty, you can come in and get a drink. We're gonna show you their store. They have a, um, a service pavilion. Uh, they have a driver's class here. You can actually take courses here where they'll teach you how to drive an RV. If you want to be confident when you get out on the road, they'll actually teach you how to do that. They have classes here of anything you'd ever want to know about RVs, uh, RV seminars. Then they have one of the best RV stores I've ever been in. Christy and I went through there all three days we were here and found little things that we needed to complete our home on wheels because it really is a home on wheels. So And we have over 230 service bays. That's huge. And tell me a little bit about the service base, Christy. Unbelievable. These guys were the best. I mean, they took such great care of us, and i never seen anything like it. And Angel, oh, my God, he Angel was the best. Angel Maldonado was fantastic. Um, taught, taught us things about our RV we didn't even know. He's a, 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 a 
basically a, a PhD in RVs. He's been working here for over 10 years. And we've, we've had the RV for a year, and he knew a bunch of stuff about it. We didn't even know, so he helped Christy out with a lot of stuff. The service bays, they have a detail bays. They've got 230 bays, but they have specialty bays for detailing and washing. They've got bays for painting RVs, and they have uh, a special section just set up for the Crown Club, which is, is this right here. This Crown Club right here, these are all $250,000 and up RVs, mostly Class A diesel pushers. And if you join the Crown Club, you get free breakfast, free camping, free breakfast and dinner anytime you come here, and free happy hour. They got a luxury bar. We'll take you over there and show you that with its own swimming pool. And that is as much as the other one is a, is a RV resort. This is like a really upscale RV resort over there. So really, it's... It, to me, it's all about the service after the sale because you can buy an RV anywhere, and I've bought RVs up, up north, uh, and there's not another dealer on the East Coast, I think, that can compare to what these guys have. And their employees, most of them have been here for 10-plus years. So the guy, who, the guy who towed our RV, see, we have a 45-foot. We have worked our way up from an 18-footer to a 45-foot, the biggest toy hauler you can possibly get, and we haul it with a, with a tractor, a semi, uh, a Volvo tractor-trailer. So... They hook it up to a specialty hauling um, tractor to, to bring it in. And the guy who hauled my our rig over here has been here 28 years. He said in one year he moved 4,000 RVs. So the guys that are doing the work, like Angel and, and the guy who moved, moved our rig over, are world-class experts. You're not dealing with newbies. And, and they'll, get, they'll, get, they'll get your job done on time. Um, we told them we wanted to be done at 1 o'clock today. We, we, we pulled in at 8 a.m. to get the washer and dryer installed and a bunch of other repairs done. And it's golden. Let's go take a walk outside and we'll show you everything we just told you about. These are the sales offices here. Uh, they have uh, um, 115 sales people at work here. And they have over 200 technicians. They also have free popcorn. You know, say they have free soda? That's yes, they have one. free soda. Oh, pets are welcome here too. And like I said, they, had, uh, they have two dog parks. One for... S small dogs and one for big dogs, so mm -hmm. something for everybody, really. This place is massive. They, they have, I think he said they have 650 people that work here total, and there's you really need a map to get around in a golf cart because it's huge, 126 acres. We just went to the RV Super Show in Tampa. We spent a week there, and um, really coming here is like going to an RV show, but it's, it's there's no... It's Disneyland for RVs. Yeah, it's a little less stress, too. Yeah. Uh, Christy and I actually made our decision to buy a toy hauler while sitting on the, they were already closed and we were camping out here and their display units in, in the front here. <clears throat> Tell them what we were doing, Christy. We were sitting on the back porch of a Momentum 397TH toy hauler. <laughs> Big giant toy hauler. <laughs> Contemplating on buying one. And that was when we made the decision. If you're gonna, if you're gonna buy an RV, you really wanna sit inside of it for a couple hours and, and see if, you know, it's really gonna fit your needs. The other thing too is they have a rental service here. You can rent pretty much all size RVs here and it's all available online. They have a great online sales department if you're buying from outside of the, you know, if let's say you live in Connecticut and you wanna buy an RV here, you can find it all online. <clears throat> they were at the RV Super Show. They had great sales prices on very competitive pricing on all the new units. So whatever you want here. This is, this is their super store here. And it really is a superstore. They've got everything from electric bikes to camera systems to pretty much anything you could possibly want for an RV, including washers and dryers. And that's that's what we bought while we're here. So now we're pretty much completely self-contained. They have hitches, um, jacks. All your Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Satellite. Satellite stuff. Uh, camera systems. Hitch accessories. Pretty much... Like I said, this is Disneyland for RVers. This is a parts counter. Uh, you'll be coming over here if you buy a washer and dryer. The guys behind the desk will take care of you big time. First class service. You have the latest Wi-Fi devices, the latest high definition backup camera systems and experienced knowledgeable people that'll steer you in the right direction and get you the right products. This is the washer and dryer that Christy got. So the store is massive. It has everything you could ever want. It's got furniture. Um, they do the classes in here over at the Learning Center. They've got a big screen TV and they host classes here every week. The employees here get 
on average, 200 hours of training a year. That breaks down to about a half an hour every day. They start every day. The sales team and the service team, they get trained regularly. They're up to date on all the latest, greatest RV technology. And, and it does get pretty technical in some of the bigger units, with all the, the um, systems that are in them and the Wi-Fi and surround sound. And you really need some help when you get a system figuring it all out. And, and when you get here, they do this pre-delivery inspection on every unit they sell. So when you get the unit, they've tested every system in it. And when you buy the unit, you actually camp out here for free for a couple of days and try everything out. If you have any questions or if there are any bugs to work out, because it's like buying a new house, they'll fix it right on the spot, right in the campground or over in the service center. This is our rig. It's a 45 foot quad slide triaxle. It's about as big of a toy hauler as you can possibly get. And of course, we're hauling it with a Volvo Semi. We've got three motors. Why do we have three motorcycles, Christy? We need one for every occasion. <laughs> Absolutely. We have dirt bike, we have the enduro, and we've got the street bike. So that's our rig. And the, the, I've never once driven around in, in here, and that's a big rig, <clears throat> had any problem getting in and out of any of the spots or cruising around because the whole 126 acres has been crafted to be the ultimate spot to bring in an RV. Like we said, it's, it's Disneyland for, for RVs. And it's right off the highway here too. So you can see them right from the highway. It's easy to get to. Uh, right across from rooms to go. <laughs> you, could, you could fly in to Tampa International Airport. They do a fly and buy program. You can pick it out online, get it all set up, come here with nothing and leave with a fully equipped RV. Everything, anything you could possibly want, including the uh, uh, mattresses, mattresses and blankets and Here's a full line of uh, minivan, uh, minivan campers. Like we said, everything is broken down to sections. So they've got a whole bunch of uh, van campers here, which are real popular. Um, I, I, like I said, I've, I've had 11 RVs. I averaged three years a piece. I had a van camper I bought when the kids were, were, were when Kenny was just born. And uh, we went all over the country with that thing. We went over, we, we drove 100,000 miles in it over the course of 15 years. At the same time, we had a Class A, big giant diesel pusher, but that couldn't go where, where our van camper was. It was a four x four, like this one right here, like this Mercedes four x four. It was actually a, a sportsmobile, pop top van camper. So there's always compromises with an RV. If you get one too big, you can't get in and out of places. So we were fortunate. I had a, a good career in the computer industry, so we we're able to afford two campers. And the van camper, I used it as kind of a daily driver. I took that thing to work and back. Uh, we took it to the racetrack. That's mainly what we used it for. We went motocross racing. And if you watch the channel, you already know we're, 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 motor, we're a motocross family and we're on the road. We chased points for, well, over 10 years. Chasing points means you travel a 12 week series over the course of like four months in four states. And, uh, when you've got kids and you have to be at the track at 7 a.m. in the morning, the only way to make sure you're going to be there on time is to camp there overnight. So we would always bring the camper and make it a, a, a fun family weekend. We'd camp out for the whole weekend. And uh, some of my best memories raising the kids were, were the, the, the journey, the adventure. The kids would be dancing in the back of the RV with the tunes cranking and having a great time hanging out with their friends. It's a very much the ultimate family vacation and everywhere you go you've got your house with you guys in here these are the specially equipped over 230 service bays specifically built for working on rvs with all licensed trained technicians so they can work on everything from your three million dollar prevost bus to your ten thousand dollar used pop top camper they can they can fix anything in here I've never seen anything like this before. I mean, it would it would take us 20 minutes just to show you the entire service facility. They've got special specialty equipped paint booths, detail booths, service booths. They've got specific areas just for working on the, the Crown Club RVs. They have 50, 50 of these service bays are reserved for Crown Club members. Those are the people that, you know, invested half a million. The minimum is 250,000 on those RVs. 
and they, they get obviously uh, preferred service. It's kind of like a country club membership. That's actually to our right here. That's actually the RV. It looks like an RV park. It, we'll go through that in a minute, but it's not. It's actually there. That's what those are all the units for sale. For sale. So it's just unbelievable. And These are the paint bays. I haven't seen a, I haven't seen a dealer up in the north that has more than five or seven bays and. I won't name any names because maybe it's changed since then, but the dealer I bought my RV from, it spent three months the first year I had it in there for easy repairs that you could have got done in a, in a day or two with, with a, an appointment down here. At least that's been my experience. So it's it's worth, worth the travel down to take a look. Even if you're not ready to buy, if you want to figure out what it is you want to buy. I, I have friends who came here looking for a diesel pusher that left with a toy hauler when they figured out the versatility of it. So, so you can see how beautiful the grounds are here. It's, it is very much a resort. And you can see they'll have all the Class A diesel pushers on one side, and you can compare different models, both used and new. They'll have all the travel tra trailers in one area, all the um, toy haulers in one area. There's units here that we couldn't find at the RV Super Show that we actually specifically came here to check out. Actually, those are all the toy haulers over there. They're a yeah. big Grand Designs dealer. Grand Designs is probably one of the, the, the best known. They make this momentum series of toy haulers that are true four season, true full timer toy haulers. They sell Cyclone. These are real popular with the racers, the Cyclones. Uh, they, they sell the DRV full houses, which is the one we have. That's an upscale top of the line model. But uh, any, any toy hauler you're looking for, if you're looking for one, they've probably got it right here. There's a whole lineup of the whole lineup of momentums, and you can buy a top of the line momentum for like $140,000. Uh, the Cyclones are in the same same price range. You know, they retail for $170, but they discount everything here. You can get a good sales price and feel like you weren't taken advantage of. This one on the right right here is a small garage in the back, but it has a bedroom above the garage. So it's called a Momentum 376, very popular model. This is a DRV full house right, right in front of us here that we wanted to take a look at. This one's actually uh, didn't go to the show because it it got in a. I'm not sure why they took that. Didn't take it. Maybe it's sold. I don't know. This rig coming past us right now is what's called a Super C. Very popular because they have a commercial grade truck chassis that it's built on with an easy to have service at any truck stop. That's a Dynamax chassis Freightliner. Really heavy, heavy duty, well built. It's called a Super C. And then over to our right here, this this uh, four winds right here that has a van front on it. That's called a Class C. And then you've got the minivan campers, minivan campers, and that, that's a mini C, uh, Class C. Class B. The van campers are called Class B. Class C are are the vans that have a big camper body on the back and then the class a are the ones that look like buses on your right here this whole row of transcends that you see these are called travel trailers because uh, they they hook up to your bumper this montana we're looking at right now is a what's called a fifth wheel it has a specialty hitch the fifth wheel as you can see has a a uh, elevated front part here and the hitch on it is designed to hook up into the bed of your pickup truck. So um, basically it makes the unit a little shorter and more maneuverable, maneuverable and can be turned around like a tractor trailer. This row right here is one of the longest row of Class C's that I've ever seen. Uh, they've got all different models, all different manufacturers. Those are all Mercedes Benz on the right here, off to your left. Check this out. That is pretty cool. That's a Ford F550 four-wheel drive Integra, real high-end, and they have one from Thor, and their four-wheel drive 
brand new F450 6.7 liter diesels, fantastic trucks. You can haul a big trailer behind them. These are class Cs. They're probably the most affordable of, of the uh, drivable units. They have a traditional inexpensive van front end, two wheel drive, uh, dual rear wheels. And there's a whole row on your right here. Just The road just goes forever. These are real popular too. The mini, the mini campers, the mini class Cs that you see right here. They've got hundreds of them here. Like I said, there's there's over 1,500 here. So, like if if you're if you're looking for an RV, or you want to figure out what you what you want in an RV, come spend a couple days here. Bring your camper down or rent a hotel, rent a golf cart, and zoom around. Guys, this is one of the coolest parts of buying an RV here. And like I started off the video by saying, we actually sold them an RV and bought one from someone else and they let us come over here to do it. You can hook up your RV here, full hookups and spend the night. Any RV you see facing in like this river ranch right here is the one that they're upgrading from and they're upgrading to a solitude. So if it's facing out, that's a unit they're buying. If it's facing in, that's the one they're trading in. That's how you know who's coming and who's going. But these are all people that are upgrading, like these folks are upgrading from an Airstream to a Winnebago, Class A. Um, these guys are switching from an Allegro to a top of the line Beacon by Van Lay, fit, fifth wheel. But there's there's a lot to consider when you're moving, especially if you've, you've been in your RV for a while, you got pretty much everything you'd have in your house in there. So to be able to spend the night, take your time, spend the day, move all your stuff over, and they've got hundreds of spots dedicated probably 150 spots here plus these are all this whole section is people getting new rvs and the techs are readily available your sales representative will be with you uh, they do the pre-delivery pre um, explanation and walkthrough and they show you how to use all the subsystems on the unit and they're fully trained from the factory so there's so many complicated things between the audio video and, and the leveling systems and there's just so much to think about it's ridiculous Guys, this is the camp, this is the resort, the campground resort. You can see to your right, you've got basketball courts, there's tennis courts. I gotta show you this over here. This is the, the little dog park. And I've been here with a little dog before. <laughs> Jackie was here. Yep. Yep. We came came down here with the manic mechanic and uh, our little terrier Jackie, our shop dog, had a blast in here. So this is the little dog park. There is a big dog park, and if you noticed, and there's little dogs in there. I got to point out that there's palm trees everywhere. This is a Sunshine State, guys. This is this is winter in Connecticut. It's snowing at home, and it's t-shirt weather down here. I mentioned the manufacturers are here. Not only do they have offices here, there's also manufacturers showing the products. So they have a full golf cart rental service here. Yep. And as far as the manufacturers reps, check it out. This is the new. This is a Freightliner custom chassis booth right here. And if you're buying a Freightliner equipped rig, they can show you what's underneath all the, all the uh, shiny stuff. The Cummins ISX 15 engine, the Michelin tires, the air ride suspension, all the good stuff, big diesel motor. And they've got a showroom in here where they can go over all the features and benefits. And this, this guy right here will tell you everything you want to know about the Freightliner chassis so that's just one of the manufacturers that's here anything you want to know about rvs there's going to be someone someone here a specialist this is there's a restaurant in here there's like a rec hall laundromat the indoor pool is here this camping area right here they have a camping area just for for small class b in class C motorhomes like that Chinook van camper over here. This whole section is for small campers. And then they've got, we have the biggest camper you can possibly get without getting a special license. It's, it's a 76 feet long and they had a spot for us where we pulled in no problem, no problem at all. They have pull through sites for the biggest rigs and something for, something for everybody. Up here is the uh, indoor heated pool. They have a gym here. This is one of the indoor heated pools. When I say indoor, it has like a screened in 
uh, lanai, I guess they call it, so there's no bugs. This is January. It's the coldest it gets here, and there's people swimming in the heated pool today. Pretty fantastic. They have a heated hot tub for 10 people. This is one of the four restaurants they have on site here. This is called Exit 10, and the outside of it is really cool. It's an actually an RV. Yeah, it's, full, it's full a bar. cool restaurant. Happy hour. Full bar, food, really, really nice. They're having a seminar here about the fleet, with the uh, Freightliner chassis and Cummins engines with the manufacturer's rep. So you can get your questions answered by the pros. They have a pool table, bingo, all kinds of stuff for everybody. They have a courtyard here with a nice fireplace, fires at night. We spent a lot of time in here over the last 22 <laughs> years. Not the good anymore, old though. laundromat. Everything's nice and clean and new and, and uh, well lighted and so 24 hours. We have a washer dryer now, so we won't be coming in here again. Nope, we're all good now. Guys, you thought my rig was a handful of backup. Look at this thing, it's 100 feet long. This is actually the outside of the Exit 10 restaurant and it actually uses RV slide rooms as the booths. And over here is the wheel. So some creative restaurant, theme restaurant, RV theme restaurant. The only one I've ever seen of its kind. Very cool. Guys, we're gonna take it right into the Crown Club now. This is $250,000 and up, real high-end, beautiful Class A motor coaches. It's a campground and units for sale are in here. Mostly Tiffin RVs in here. They sell a lot of Tiffins uh, and also Allegros. Um, really high-end diesel pushers and Super C's like this one right in front of us. Most of these units are for sale that I see in here. Uh, and there's another section where ones that are sold are people that camp. These are like really high-end diesel buses, like dream RVs. These can be upwards of $2.8 million for a Prevo. Um, most of these are in, in the probably three hundred dollars to $600,000 range. That's so why they call it the Crown Club. If you buy... And here's the Crown Club. This is the Crown Club. We'll go in there in a second. If you buy a unit here, you become a Crown Club member and free access to the Crown Club, free breakfast, free lunch, and uh, free happy hour. Cocktails, full bar. It's absolutely beautiful inside there too. Some of these buses are just gorgeous. Look at the paint job on this Allegro bus right here. It's beautiful. Really nice. These are the units that are sold. People, you know, they have them walking around with their dogs and stuff. These are all units that are privately owned. This is the, the Crown Club camping area. Guys, these are the 50 bays on the right here that are reserved for Crown Club members. So only the high-end diesel pushers will be over here in the, the Super Cs. The techs that are over here all have to have 10 years minimum experience. They're all master techs that have the ability to work on heated floors and slide rooms and satellite systems and, and everything else. So the best, the best techs in the business are over here. These bays are only for Crown Club members, so there's always gonna be quicker service over here. You're not gonna have to wait months for your rig to get fixed. You can get it, get in, get it fixed, and get on the road. That's what it's all about. This is going through the Tiffany area. I just think it's absolutely beautiful with these trees. Guys, this is the Crown Club was established in 2001 and uh, it's a first class service facility for the Crown Club members. Let's take a walk in and see how the other the other half lives. This is a reception area. Really nice. 
restaurant is upstairs. Nice view out the window of all the RVs. It's a huge restaurant. You could have probably 200 people in here. It's massive. Beautiful wood floors, big comfy seats. And this place is like a banquet facility. Full bar. I mentioned happy hours free here if you're a Crown Club member. It's like being a member of a exclusive country club for RVs only. Pretty fantastic. Super comfy lounge seating over here. It's three o'clock. They're setting up. Nobody's here right now, but it'll be packed for happy hour, I'm sure. Super comfy seating, big screen TV. I'll watch the game and have a cold one. Oh, here no, is I'm a delivery just like, and we're service filming offices. and I'm like, no, it's a little chilly Only for today. Crown Club members, uh, so when you buy a unit, the specialists that know everything about the high-end coaches will spend the, as much time as you need what to get you would this be? up and running. And if there's a service water. issue, this is where so you'll be taken care of. There's two water? rows of yeah, like I got this a just bag. for the Crown Club members. And, and they also have this meeting one? rooms in here Not and conference rooms that you can come in and use. I never know which couple. If you want to do business while you're here. Christy's having a little green tea. No, I'm having English tea time. English tea at the, at the Crown Club. This is the, the private pool area for the Crown Club members. Heated in-ground pool with plenty of outdoor seating. So <clears throat> you could really, you know, come here, spend a week and not get bored and have a blast. And we're located right near Tampa. So there's all kinds of activities around here. You can rent boats and go deep sea fishing or whatever you want to do around here. It's a, really a recreational paradise around here. It's an award-winning dealership. They've been voted number one in America by Winnebago and Grand Designs and all the others at one time or the other. So our experience here, we called in and a guy named Johnny Valdez, who's one of the managers, has been here for 16 years, answered the phone. We told him we had a Volvo tractor semi with a 45 foot rig he hooked us up with a primo site that we're able to pull right in told me he wanted to put a washer dryer in here he lined up the whole thing hooked us up with one of his senior techs and angel maldonoso has been here for six plus years i'm pretty sure he's a senior tech uh, did the installation without a hitch um, and a bunch of other things we wanted done to the rig. We pulled it in at eight o'clock this morning. It was done at one o'clock in the afternoon. We're on our way to the, we told me we have to be to the 24 hours of Daytona to film the uh, Rolex 24 hours of Daytona for Motul, one of our sponsors and partners. And uh, he said, no problem, we'll get you in, get you out. It was trouble-free service. And everybody we talked to from the receptionist to the golf cart people, everybody was, Super happy, and there's a lot of longevity with their employees here, so you're not dealing with newbies. You're dealing with people who really know what they're doing that can take care of you. Highly recommend it. A-plus rating. Like I said, if you've been here all day or for days like we have, the Cracker Barrel restaurant's right there, along with three other restaurants and bars, all within walking distance, on site, right off the highway. Thanks, Johnny, and the rest of your crew. We had a great time here. We'll definitely be back. We're heading to Daytona for the, the big race, so... Thanks for watching, and as always, God bless America.